when geologist Dr. Robert Schock redated the origins of the Great Sphinx to thousands of years earlier in the dynastic Egypt, his evidence of water weathering ignited a firestorm of controversy. Now, pushing the origins of the monument back to the end of the last ice age, his investigations take him to southeastern Turkey to discover what an ancient megalithic site reveals about an earlier cycle of civilization and the fate of those who came before us. If the Sphinx is that old, where is there other evidence of sophisticated culture, civilization going back that far? And secondly, what happened to that round of civilization? I have been finding answers to that here in modern Turkey. Millions of years ago, there were volcanic eruptions of local volcanoes. They laid down these rocks as ash layers, caves formed in them. Solidified ash layers are relatively easy to carve into, so they started with natural caves, but then they start carving into the rock. Wow, this is a really huge underground structure. Where I'm standing now, there are eight levels below me. There's another eight levels above me. All of the evidence indicates that the sun underwent a major solar outburst at the end of the last ice age, thousands of years ago. What better way to protect yourself than to shelter within solid rock? Gebekli Tepe had not been discovered when I first talked about the Sphinx being older. Gebekli Tepe is an incredibly sophisticated site represents true civilization, in my opinion, and goes back to the end of the last ice age, about 12,000 plus years ago. So here we have, in my opinion, in Turkey, some of the answers to these questions of where was other independent evidence of early civilization and what happened to those people and how did they survive 6,000 or so years to re-emerge ultimately to re-establish civilization. Work on this documentary continues. To make a donation, please visit the not-for-profit Organization for the Research of Ancient Cultures at oracleonline.org. <laughs>